Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to show you how to display images in your Google Classroom stream, just like this one right here. Now, remember, I recommend not posting your classwork to the stream, but you can now display an image in your Google Classroom stream. Let me show you how this works. So go to the stream, make a typical announcement. So we'll say, welcome to the... Let's attach a file. Now, one thing I don't like about the way this works is that there is no URL option and there's no webcam option. So you actually have to download the image you want. So let me go download an image. And we'll hit save. And let's go add that. Now, notice what it says here. It says display image. You get a little more information if you click on that. And then you click on three dots and I can remove as display image, but I'll click post. There's the image in the stream. It is an announcement. It goes to students in their email. Unfortunately, there is no alt text. I wish there was. And also the file name shows up like this, the file name .jpg, not ideal. And be so be careful, you probably want to rename your files. Let's look at that from the student view. So in the student view, stream was updated. There it is. And again, they see that file name as well. I'll show you what happens if you do more than one image in an announcement. So we'll do these two right here. The first one will default as the display image. However, you can remove that and make the second one or any one of them set as display image. You can only have one display image per announcement or per post. So I'll click post. And now I have this one right here is the display. And then there's a little thumbnail for the second one looking at that from the student view. And we see there the one image and then the thumbnail to the other. So that is how you can display images in your stream in Google Classroom. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.